You are too tall. I can't help that God made me tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to M&M's Kitchen, because we're about to cook some dinner. Set our temperature, what the heck this thing called for? Country fried steak. How fried do you got to go to get to hell for this thing? Where is the temperature on this thing? <laughs> on the back. I hate the 425. <laughs> Alright, let me grab the modern technology here. Modern technology. Oh yeah, man. You know, I live in the fourth century, so scissors are very complex. It took me till I was twelve to figure out how to use them. Uno, dos, tres. Archer. We got her at 425, and she's preheating and gonna cook for 11 minutes. Then we're going to flip her over and cook her for another eight minutes. Mm -hmm. And then she'll be ready to roll. So what are we cooking with this? I don't know. I'm thinking some mashed taters. Some country fried gravy. What you think? Yeah, I got to get the milk. I need the flour. I think that's out in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> we are now having to google -fy how we make gravy. I got to get the right measurements. Says who? Says me that always burns crap. <laughs> I mean, you did burn water that time. Two cups of milk. I mean, I'm not... And if you hear time. some crunching, that is me stepping on Cinnamon Toast Crunch that was politely spilled all over the floor this morning, getting the girls ready for school. So I wanted to make a uh, homemade white gravy to go with the country fried steaks that we're cooking and I had already added in the flour and stirred that in with the melted butter and I'm just slowly adding in the milk and continuously stirring so it becomes the right texture and thick enough to go on the steaks. Um, this recipe that I used called for 1 4th cup of unsalted butter, 1 4th cup of all-purpose flour, 1 and a half teaspoons of black pepper, one half teaspoon of sea salt or any kind of salt of your choice, one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder and two cups of milk. Mackenzie, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> you go in, Zucchini, you come out a man. <laughs> <laughs> we are not professionals, by the way. I like how you have to bend down just to see your face. That's because I'm a fat, <laughs> tall person. You're gonna add your pepper. You're gonna add the, oh, <laughs> your yeah. salt. You ain't saying nothing like to do. You like you got to add your pepper. You got to add your you salt. You got to add your garlic. You got to add a little bit of your your garlic. Uh, 
I think it needs a little bit more oil. And then you add a little bit more oil. Yeah, like that. Like and that. then you gotta put it on a crack. <laughs> Give it a shake, a good shake. You gotta bring it to a bowl. <laughs> yes, sir. Pop the lid on there and let it sizzle and crackle. Time to get a pot for the mashed taters. Because, you know, um, they don't work too well in a pan. That's uh, good uh, for pan. You are too tall. I can't help that God made me tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> I had to manufacture the dark, so excuse me. Okay. I wonder who told me that. Why are you I... using the little eye? You can move the, move the gravy and use that big old eye. I, I love my gravy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they going to call me the muffin man when I'm done with this. Y'all, I am laughing so hard editing this video and I really hope you enjoy it and that you have a good laugh. I know the main content of my channel is cleaning, but I just wanted to share something fun and just give you a life without filters. Got to add that milk. Might as well put the rest of that in there. Lord have mercy. Oh yeah. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit of spices to it. I'm gonna add a little bit of sea salt. The only spice you add to mashed potatoes is parsley. You better move. As a little bit of parsley. Girl, let me show you something. That's why you a white girl cook right there. You, you ain't never been in the South. You ain't got what I'm about to put in there. The garlic. Then we got to reach in here and get a little bit of uh, onion powder. Mm, let's see what else we got in here to spice this thing up. Oh, now we talking. Uh, them parsley. Bam! Right here. Watch me. Bam! Just because you said. Just a little bit. Not Just a, a lot. drizzle. Alright, there ain't nothing else I want to add now. Bam, 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 bam. They're gonna have to have me a YouTube channel called Cooking with Dio because I'm just that good. Uh. <laughs> See, I just come up with all the good ideas because you know sometimes you just gotta use that light bulb in your head. Now we gotta add our powder. Once you got it started, you stir it and then you keep it stirred and moving so you don't get it clumpy and you slowly pour it in. You know, like, you're supposed to have Jesus pulled into your life. That's what you got to do with this. You got to slowly pour it because you can't talk all of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't take the flavor, keep out the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. We got to add some water. And some more butter. Add a little bit more. Now we gotta add that butter. You gotta drop you some more butter in there. Damn. Alright, now we got everything going again. Now we're just gonna keep stirring, get it all good. Put it back on the eye, cut it down to medium temperature. Because you don't wanna burn it, because it's easy to burn, especially in this kind of pot right here. Gotta keep it smooth.
moving right along to outside, we got started pulling out all of the weeds in this bed that we had in the front yard and the Home Depot had a sale going on on mulch. You could get three bags for $10. So we picked up about nine bags if I'm not mistaken, which obviously was not enough to cover this bed. So we do have to go back and get some more, but we were trying to get as much done as we could while there was still sunlight outside after dinner. shovel to level out all of the mulch and get out any excess grass or anything that we missed earlier and I really love how the red color just makes the brick underpinning that we have kind of pop. We did have brown mulch at one point and um, that was really good to have too and I think that looks good but I think the red just looks a little bit more better in my opinion and obviously we do have another flower bed on the other side of the front yard which we didn't get to today because we still need more mulch so once we get more mulch we'll be able to finish this project and I'm really excited to get this completed.
thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video i really hope you enjoyed and had fun along with us and had a good laugh don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos i post i will see you guys in my next video plenty more projects coming so stay tuned i will see you guys later bye